Hi, and welcome back to Best Banners Ever. So, carrying on with my learning, I'm now going to move on with the particles and actions. So, basically what I've done is I've played around with the particles that I came across. Um, I tried to do it as if it was hundreds of thousands um, spewing out. However, um, it hasn't really worked that well. So, I'll just hit play and you can see what happens when it goes around Charles's head. So, yeah, I mean, donuts aside, look pretty good, but unfortunately the particles aren't quite right. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to necessarily resolve it today, but what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you those particles and what I did to get them where they were and what I've been doing with the playing of them. So, oh, just as an FYI, I have started to play around by adding in a sphere. Um, however, I'm having a slight problem with the quality and um what element should be master not so i haven't worked that out yet so i need to go back through um the information on uh, templates and stuff so i'll come back to that right so particles what have i looked at so if i go down to the emitter down here which is the one on the normal orbit i think it is yeah the normal orbit i initially set up so if we look over here on the right hand side um first of all for some reason I thought, yeah, let's make it a cylinder because that's a good idea. So I made it a cylinder because you could change it from, I think it start, basically it starts out as a plane like that. Um, initially I then write, well, I'll just change it to a sphere. A sphere is kind of cool, looks kind of bubbly. Um, but then in the end I changed it to a cylinder. Um, but I haven't quite worked out the spacing and the sizing of it yet. So I'm not gonna try and sort it now, what I'm going to try and do is spend a bit more time investigating it because the the gravitational effect of it isn't quite right either. So I need to work out if it should be streaming just out from behind the, the donut or if I need uh, to remove some of the uh, sort of floating effect of it. So anyway, um, you can add in some spins. You can change the scale. The scale was a funny thing to play with. So I mean, can't necessarily see it. But if you take down the initial scale like this, it goes crazy. Um, and I think that's what threw me initially with a lot of the scaling on this. So um, it requires a lot of playing. You see? I mean, that size might be better. I just don't know yet. So again, like I say, I think it's best to just keep playing, keep trying to find out. Um, lifespan, that was interesting again. Percentage, how long it should last? Well, let's go for 50%. And, well, that's just mad, isn't it? Actually, it's not that mad. Okay, let's, let's crank it up to 100%. See what I get. Again, it's not that bad, but it means the scene is just extremely messy. So we're just going to keep it nice and low, I think. Um, then we have birth rate. So that's just obviously how many are coming out. I guess, I guess a second. So if I put it down to two, there you go. Um, so I'll keep that up at about 50. Um, then obviously the relation, is it um, the world or if it's local to it? Now local seems to be, <laughs> A bit more as it turns and obviously that's not great I want it to be working with the, the global world well the um, the global orientation so local doesn't work however if I don't know I suppose if I was flying something else or if I wanted a certain stream going in a certain direction then um, I could use that however I do want world uh, type is a point I started with I mean there are a few others like it's sporadic, how it flies out. I mean, there's a line. The line's not too bad. Oh, if you haven't gathered, well, I think you can spot which one I'm playing with. Um, there's a plane. Again, not much of a difference. It's just a bit more spread out. So I think all of these types have, you know, options. However, I think it'll take a lot of experimentation to work out which works best with whatever idea you have, or in, in this case, whatever idea I eventually come up with and where this is going. Um, 
So I added a material as well. I call it Spark. I'll just show you over here. There it is there. Um, I did initially also experiment with adding in a texture animation. So I put some different colors together and I thought I could have basically lots of different hundreds of thousands coming out on the emitter. Unfortunately, um, all it did was uniformly change color. So every particle changed color to the same color at the same time. That didn't work very well. Um, and it didn't feel right. So instead of getting bogged down in it, I decided to drop it and I'll come back again to it to try and get, I think what I need is to try and work out how to change the value over time. So if it starts, if we were doing flames, if it starts in a nice bright orange and goes off to a sort of yellowy white, you know, so it sort of dissipates out, which might be quite nice to experiment based on the birth rate. But again, like I say, um, I'm not gonna try and solve it now. I'm gonna come back to it. Right, so in the um, opening slide, I did make a mention to actions. So if we take a focal point and look at the patch editor for a moment, um, holding Alt, I can obviously move it around. Um, you can see here I've made these little edits to obviously control the elements I've, I've started uh, and control my, no my nodes and my primitive and how they animate. However, actions seems to be this little gem hidden away. Now it's not necessarily gonna work for every situation, but actions for me suddenly uh, are now opening up possibilities of creating defaults. And that's what it seems to be. So it's up here in the top right hand corner, hit actions. Now I'm not gonna play around with these other two options just yet. I'm just gonna focus on this one here. Position on face. Now let's try, hmm, where should we position it? Um, let's go for, Let's go for an eyebrow, right? Freaks out and there you go. It's moved it and it's done all the hard work for me, but also what it's done is it's done the patch editor for me as well. And this is fantastic. So this is definitely gonna be something I'm going to definitely use more often because it can set up a lot of defaults straight away for you without you having to find out what they are. So obviously there's this great option find a face, that's really important. Or fi sorry, face finder. Then um, face select, so select the face, then face tracker. Uh, obviously we're just doing the face, but there's 3D position, 3D scale, 3D rotation, so this is gonna be fantastic. Then there's a type um, of face element. So in this case, we've got an eyebrow, and then obviously we have my emitter. So I think using actions going forward is gonna be one of those go-to sort of speed up your um, coding and, and using the patch editor. So um, that I think is something I'm going to use more often. So I would, if you're again like me, brand new to Spark, I would definitely suggest looking at actions as a way of sort of getting yourself into using the patch editor and finding out how to use it. So um, that's it for today. I'm not going to do any more on this because I don't feel completely comfortable where I've got to. I want to relook at the structure of the file. I think I've got I mean, you can see here, I've, I've got a lot of elements here. I think there's too much. It's a bit of a mess. It needs a bit of a rework. I'm not really using the bus, uh, the, 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 the lower bust option. I'm not really using the head properly. I think I could get the head bus right. I mean, head uh, occluder. Um, also, I'm not even using the face mesh. So I think there's lots of elements in here and I'm just not using properly. Also, my um, assets file has just got a little bit out of hand. So. I think what I'm gonna try and do is do a little bit of a reset and try and just reduce it back and try and take some of these learnings and try to make a few small improvements. I'm not gonna make a huge improvement because I'm still learning, but you know, consolidate and rework it, I think is the key here. Right, well, that's it for now. Um, so I do appreciate uh, your time. So thanks very much and take care.